Hi, my name is Adi Gil, and a lot of people know me uh, with this boat. Because of this boat. <laughs> sit down here with you. Here, with me. <laughs> here. Okay. And that kind of like what uh, made me famous at some point. Uh, but I really started in, uh, when I was born in 1958, and then my father went to Paris in 1961. And he sent me three, uh, four postcards. And these are the four, po uh, the four postcards that I saved from that time. And these were all animals. And they were, he knew that I loved them. And they were just postcards of dogs that he sent me. And they were these, and they were these. And I saved them because I couldn't read, obviously, but my mother had to present me with this. And then that, that's when I actually started to be an animal lover, or he knew that I'm an animal lover. But at that time, I only had, I had two lists, really. I had a list of the animals that I love, and I had a list of the animal that I ate. And how many people here only have one list? And, it, and they are, and what it is, is really, we create these lists, and I had dogs and cats and uh, parrots, and they were here. And on the left side, I had cows and chickens, and they were the different lists. And I said, I'm an animal lover, because I love dogs. That's what it was. And cats, and I thought, really, that they are laboratory animals. And I thought maybe these laboratory animals are specifically bred to be in laboratories. That they just don't have feelings, that nothing hurts them, they're just like sitting there in a laboratory and we're testing on them and they are part of that system. And we don't really have to worry too much because they are serving humanity. And I lived like that for many, many, many years. And it was until 1999. And you all know about Farm Sanctuary and Adopt a Turkey, I believe. And then I had a girlfriend at the time say, adopt a turkey, and I thought adopting a turkey is I should have a turkey, but really, it wasn't like that. It was, you know, you sent $20, and I got this card. And this card is here, I have it here. And that's what I got, because Farm Sanctuary used to send these cards to the people that sent $20. So I got this card, and this card actually said, it, there was a name to this bird, and it was Shalom. And Shalom, if everybody knows, in Hebrew is high goodbye, but it's also peace. And I said it before, it was the time when I made peace with the animals. But it took me until 1999 to start realizing what animals are all about. Okay? So I actually came to the United States in 1983. And I had $200 and I was an auto mechanic, and I did valet and all that stuff, and I built my business, and eventually got successful, and I had two large audiovisual companies in Los Angeles. One was American High Definition, and one was Sweetwater, and we were building television studios, and we did most of the award shows. I provided equipment for that. And in 2009, I made my largest donation, which now is a little controversy, but that donation was that boat that you saw. And that donation was to go and interfere with whaling in Antarctica. And there was that Adigil boat, which was later on pink and red. <laughs> I used to have a large audiovisual company. <laughs> So I don't, know, like yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw it, but maybe you have, you know, but that this is really what happened here. Fuck. Whoa. 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 Oh my god. Wow! <laughs> they hit it? 
Bitte? Okay. So that what happened to this boat. In hindsight, if we look at what happened, um, I don't know if you guys are aware, in 2014, as a result of New Zealand and Australia taking Japan to court in Holland, uh, the court decided that what they have been doing in Antarctica is really illegal and it's in a violation of the 1986 moratorium of uh, commercial aid. And they told them they cannot go there under their program, which is called JARPA 2. They had JARPA 1, they had JARPA 2. Now they're working on another scam, which is JARPA 3. But I, I don't believe they can actually put it off because they were seen as these. And it's hard to convince some of the world community that they go back now and go under a research program to get where it's from Antarctica. So uh, for me, that was probably the biggest thing that I have done as far as donating to a group. I also sold these two companies that I had in 2010. And instead of buying myself all kind of good stuff, let people do something, everybody sell the company and get money, I started AGIBC, which is my nonprofit, it's my foundation. At the time, I put $6 million into that foundation. And the idea was only to help animals. And that's what it was. So I said, all the money that I have made until that point, Hopefully, I would wisely spend on the animals, and when I'm gone, there will be zero in my bank account because every dollar that I made went in this. And it could be, you know, a very substantial amount of money. Right now, what I do is I look at nonprofit organizations, some of them, some are in the red and some are in the black. And I look at the ones which are in the red and I support them. I spend personally about half a million dollars of my money in helping these organizations. So some do not have money to pay for cats that are in hospital, like uh, Straight Cat Alliance came to me. Uh, this morning I got a call from, you guys know where the Faroe Islands are, right? So in the Faroe Islands they killed pilot whales and I was there. Okay? And they, they, people think they do it for sports, but they don't do it. It's a tradition, and they do it because they have been doing it, and they don't want somebody to come and tell them don't do it. But I, well, I made friends at the Fair Islands, and it, somebody came to me after I made the Virgin Knife video, which was talking to a waiter and asking that person not to take this knife and use it on animals. And we made a video, and that was, give me a promise, don't kill any more whales, and especially with this. So that is what happened, and, and this morning I got a, uh, I uh, called and they asked me to help them with sanctuary. So what I want to finish because my time is up is the other thing that I want to do is bring it to the uh, to the public of what it is that we need to do. One thing that I'm doing now is helping farm with their van and their kiosks, which they go from one university to the other. So I got them a van, I got a new kiosk, and we're going to have them running a second van or third one in uh, Los Angeles. And I also produced a 30 second uh, video which I showed on Time Warners. They didn't want me to have this thing during prime time, so I settled for midnight at 2, then I moved to 11, and then finally I finished at 9. And this is. the 7.2 billion people on this planet that claim to love animals to only have one list 
every person that does not eat animals save 80 animals a year. And this is the most that we can do, is take them away from eating these animals. Because just like mercy for animals say, why love one and eat the other? So go for the one list, try to talk to anybody that you can convince, because it's so obvious to them that they should have one list because they claim to love animals. You can't love them, you cannot eat them all at the same time. Thank you so much.